Hey, hello, this is Andy from Broke Gamer. Now again, I haven't uh, done a little video in the last couple of weeks uh, due to just being uh, busy and being uh, Thanksgiving and everything. But uh, again, I've been shopping. And uh, as I say, uh, my whole entire goal is just to buy console after console, uh, build up a good selection, and then uh, concentrate on the game. So my next system I got on eBay, uh, you got the Sega Dreamcast. Now, admittedly, this is the very first Sega console I own. And uh, to be honest, when it first originally came out, I just waited for the PS2. And of course, I was uh, quite deep into the N64 at the time. So, uh, again, another system I missed, just like the GameCube. But uh, again, looking at it, and, uh, again, it copied uh, the N64 a little bit. Uh, with the four controller ports, uh, which has seemed like a big old standard that was uh, trying to come out for a lot. Uh, trying to get to all the uh, people playing around one console before online gaming really kicked off. But of course, this was online compatible. It had a 56K modem in the back, um, which uh, is a, at the time was well ahead. Nothing else on the market had even come close. Uh, even the PS2 <laughs> took a while to uh, get the old online gaming going, but uh, they kicked off a broadband when it actually became properly uh, uh, applicable. Now, what can I say about the little console? I think it looks a very tidy little console. I, uh, I think the design of it is beautiful. You know, the, everything on the lines, even the little power buttons. Now, of course, I've tried to tidy this up. Um, I did actually take it apart when I got it and uh, blew out all the cobwebs and everything. And uh, yeah, it works absolutely perfectly. I really, really, when I plugged it all in, I was very impressed. I was very impressed with the visuals that came out of this little machine. Um, so uh, let's see, um, I've only had it for, uh, I think, a couple of weeks. And uh, I haven't really tapped in the full potential, or <laughs> let, let alone half the games that are even out. So... Uh, I say that's uh, Sega Dreamcast as far as uh, my first impressions, and uh, just move you along. Uh, we have the controllers now. That, again, this is the very first console I bought. It actually turned up with two controllers, um, and the controller is very comfortable to use. Um, again, <laughs> copying the old N64 as it was all coming out with the old analog stick, but holding it, uh, my hands are pretty big and. It's not the most comfortable of controllers. Um, the D-pad right there. It's, very, it's comfortable with that part. When, when you get two hands underneath, there's not a great deal of room underneath. But the triggers feel nice and comfortable. Uh, but the one thing that really did confuse me is the control, uh, the actual uh, cable connecting it. it comes out the bottom, which is really weird. But I understand why, because the old uh, VMU which is, uh, in a sense, the memory card for this uh, system, uh, slots right in the top. And that's it. And you end up getting the little concern, you stream the um, little screen that works. It shows you various animations. Um, and I, was, uh, I haven't got this thing working. I mean, it works when it's all plugged in. I need to get a new set of batteries for it to actually uh, manage to play it out of here which i was very uh, interested i want to do it <laughs> i haven't managed to get the uh, batteries yet but a little uh little a b little girl i don't really know what it does but uh hopefully i'll be interested to find out very soon um yeah <laughs> again this uh, i think this is why the dreamcast was it was just too far ahead of its time um i say nothing at all has even come close to this uh, sort of uh, level design uh since and that was, uh, again, very, that's probably why people didn't really uh, go for it, because it was just too far advanced. I don't think people really grasped on, on hold of what uh, uh, all these little systems and little uh, gadgets can do. And, of course, I also got, in the little package, is a rumble pack. Um, well, it's a rumble pack. Um, force feedback. Uh, I've never really been truly interested in uh, force feedback uh, on any of the consoles even the ones today yeah so you get a little vibration in your hand Ooh we uh, some people like it I couldn't care less to be honest but uh, so I got uh, two controllers with them and I was uh, 
That was good. It was very good. I mean, I've played a couple of games. Um, I must admit, the, the D-pad isn't the best I've uh, I've played with. I, I honestly believe uh, the N64 felt just that little bit more precise. I say right in the middle is this little dead spot that just doesn't do enough. You can even feel it. You know, it's not even clicking on any of the older the actual switches when you're moving it around but until you go but the, once you're moving around in full gameplay it, it feels comfortable enough to uh, do the job but uh, <clears throat> at the end it all comes down to the games now i um again i've had this for a, a couple of weeks and i think um it originally turned up with everybody's got to have it sonic adventure um yeah so the cases came a bit cracked but uh, and when I've, uh, again, this is actually the first Sonic game I've ever owned, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but I really actually enjoyed it. So sometimes I get, I've played Sonic games, I've never been a big fan of them, because uh, to be honest, <laughs> it looks like a big motion blur. But uh, the uh, Sega Dreamcast really pulls this one off. I think it's a great showcase of what the system can do. Uh, just at the start, you know, yeah, it's one of the uh, launch titles with it, and I was uh, I was really enjoyed it. I played about ooh, I got a quarter of the way through um, before everything's took over. But again, I was I really enjoyed that game. And I also got Tomb Raider: The Last Revelation. This game sucks. Couldn't controller. It's terrible. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else. Again, I've never really played many of the Tomb Raider uh, games, and I just, I it just sucked to me. Um, camera, everything, oh, it was just terrible. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I played the first level and and just got bored of the crappy controls. And Crazy Taxi. Now I believe everybody's got to play this one now. I played this in the arcade when it originally came out, and uh, again, it was a fun, fast, frantic game, and then I get on the Dreamcast, and it is exactly the same thing, I just, it was exactly like the arcades, um, <laughs> I kind of feel like I need to stick my uh, quarters into the bottom of the Dreamcast to be able to play it, um, yeah, it was a fun little blast for a good 5-10 uh, minutes, and yeah, then I got bored of it, <laughs> just like the arcade. Um, yeah, well, it's the uh, Crazy Taxi. I think everybody's kind of uh, seen this one and done that one. And this is the actual game I played the most of. Ready to Rumble Boxing. Um, yeah, I, I just found it. It was good because I, I love the... Uh, I love. I actually enjoy boxing titles. And uh, and this one, it was just a fun... Like, yeah, this is another one I missed um, when it originally came out because I think it came out in the N64... Uh, later on, and uh, I got um, yeah, the N64 version isn't that great, but uh, this one, fluid, fast, fun. I I just yeah, it was great fun. I, I must have plugged in a good couple of hours into this game. I really really enjoyed this one. But uh, yeah, and as I say, I'm kind of going for all the cheap games at the moment. Yeah, I got Sega Rally Championship. Um, ooh, ooh. Horrible bloody uh, label on there, still there. But yeah, this was just a fun little uh, driving game. I I really enjoyed driving games. And uh, yeah, for, uh, it's all there. Very nice and I found, I actually quite enjoyed it. Uh, it wasn't too difficult. And um, yeah, I played a couple of hours. And uh, yeah. And, and I got Unreal Tournament. First person shooter. Admittedly, I bought it. I still haven't play, played it yet, but um, well, I've uh, I played it uh, on a. What was it? I think it was on the N sixty four or no PS two. I played this. I remember, and um, yeah, I enjoyed it on the PS two. Um, just wondering, I should really try this uh, out soon. But uh, again, this is uh, just a couple of the really cheap games that. Uh, I mean, what are they? Uh, anywhere between five and ten dollars each. These games at the moment, and um, yeah, I haven't got around to buying anything big and expensive because I can't. <laughs> this is uh, basically what I'm finding in uh, my local uh, uh, retro store, and 
on occasion if I can find some at uh, thrift stores, which uh, lately I've been doing quite well at. So, uh, yeah, that's my Sega Dreamcast. And I'm looking at it, and it's a beautiful beast. Uh, I'm, what I'm really hoping for uh, is to plug away, get a few more games uh, uh, soon. Uh, but uh, again, I think this is one of these systems which are a little bit more harder to find the games. Uh, I'd say my local retro store only has uh, about 20 odd games uh, that it has, and I've bought two of them. <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, it's all good fun. This is the whole fun part of collecting. I really enjoy the uh, trying to find little gems here and there. All right. So uh, hopefully the next time I'm thinking about doing a, a comical version of a game tour, uh, or my game room tour soon. Uh, that may be my next video. Um, but I'm really hoping I've been having my eye out on a uh, original Xbox, uh, which again another system completely missed uh, because I was firmly in the old PlayStation Two camp at that time. So. Uh, I hope you enjoy these little videos. Uh, please uh, leave a comment or uh, at least uh, subscribe. It's kind of funny uh, seeing if you're um, you know, starting off a retro collection. Um, I'm actually enjoying uh, doing these little collections and uh, these little videos. As I say it's, um, it's funny when you hear other people doing their collections and everything. And because they start, hey, ever heard of this Japanese import game? Uh, no, man, no, <laughs> you never will do because <laughs> it's one of these stupid uh, games that no one's ever heard of. Now I'm starting off completely fresh, and so I'm getting all the uh, games that have everybody heard of. So I'm uh, hopefully uh, going on to the uh, the Xbox uh, soon because um, they're right now they're pretty cheap. I think I can pick one out of eBay for about you know forty to fifty bucks with a couple of games. Uh, so uh, hopefully it will come through. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you like. Um, and, uh, thank you very much for watching.